What is the real payoff of biohacking? Is it uh, more productivity, fewer sick days, better income, or can it be all? Because you know there are so many uh, information that is coming across that yeah. might not be either relevant to you or actually very relevant to you. Yeah. How does a common man first decide that, and then the benefits of biohacking? The ideal answer is all of this. All of it, huh? If you are healthy. you will become more productive you will have more healthy days mm. you will have less sick days huh. you'll have to do you'll be able to do everything that you want to so the goal of biohacking is health let's not uh, ever forget that so it's What? all sorts of health mental physical, mental, physical physiological spiritual spiritual huh? i count that also as very health. important okay so whatever makes you more healthy and so if there is something that you can do to make yourself more healthy i count that as biohacking So if you achieve that then all of these things will get ticked mm. off. The challenge is that you need to know how to listen to your own body. So a very key part of biohacking is biofeedback. Correct. What is your body saying mm. might not be what somebody else's body is saying. So learning to listen to your own body is probably the first and most important part of biohacking. Because if you're not listening how are you talking to your body so what is the best way to listen that is where biofeedback becomes really interesting because different parts of your body talk to you differently mm. so your anxiety will talk to you differently mm -hmm. if you are feeling low that will have a different language mm -hmm. uh, if you are hungry your hunger will tell you that you are hungry differently somebody else might feel thirsty somebody else might get irritable correct so learning how your body is talking to you is the most important step at the beginning of our conversation you had said and i don't want to take away the steam from you you had said uh, something about slowing down would you want to tell us about that so this is the challenge of modern day life which is i believe that we all have the ability to listen to our body mm -hmm. the problem is there is too much chaos going on so you don't have the time to listen to your body your body might be telling you things but because you are scrolling through 50 reels in a minute mm. because there is there are hundreds of emails to be answered meetings all of that you simply don't have the time to listen to your body mm. so the thought that i got when i was talking to you before <clears throat> was the best biohacking is to slow down ah right. so for me slowing down is learning to understand what is your body saying mm. so at any given point of time you are feeling some emotion at any given point of time maybe there are some muscles in your body that are a little tensed up but we never realize this and i have this experience with a lot of my patients who come with low back pain mm. they are sitting all day at work bunch i uh, know hunched up over a laptop they don't realize that their low back muscles are getting spasmed mm. until the pain starts mm. but the pain is happening much down the line before the pain starts your muscles have already tightened up if you were paying attention to it you would have realized it but because there's so much going on you ignore it and then you come back as low back pain so these are small instances just being aware of your posture do you need to stretch do you need to drink water is your mouth dry these are small things that your body tells you if you can listen to it and if you take the right action at the right time it will not become a major problem late